Don't let those other guys intimidate you. Just get out there and sell what you got. Hello there, I'm with Ember Corp, and I'd like to introduce you to the exciting and dangerous Fireball Island. It looks like it could be right up your alley. You there, Argent University needs a chancellor. Will you be next? Will you, mortal, impress me, Imhotep, with your constructions? Beans here? Get your beans? Clank in space. The movie. Hey, how are you doing? No one showed up for my planned game night. You are blessed. I just ran a public game night and no one but my Aunt Susan showed up. I... I'm so sorry. I had a leaked pipe in my basement that destroyed Millennium Blades. Daniel, I... I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. I have backed several Kickstarters this year and all of them have been scams. I... I don't have the words to console you. I'd offer you a game from my collection, but I had to sell most of them for the upcoming reprint of Kingdom Death Monster. You should not have to make that choice. I'm being evicted from my home right now because I chose to buy board games instead of pay rent. You will make it through this. You are strong enough. But me, my house is going to burn down tonight. I'll lose everything. No, but hang on, what? Hi, welcome to my home. Uh, this is my game collection that you are here to take a look at. Um, stay tuned for more of this tragic story of a man disillusioned who's lost everything, including his family who moved out three weeks ago, unbeknownst to him, on Hoarders. So you guys aren't from NPR then. Hello, I'm the Richard Garfield, creator of Keyforge, where every single deck has a unique name and you never quite know what you're going to get, and that's the truly exciting part. What we have here is the algorithm used to name each deck. I keep it here in my garage, and when I fire it up, it generates names, sends it off to the Fantasy Flight print shops, and then from there, it's straight onto the shelves, and no one but me and the algorithm know exactly what those names are going to be. Very exciting stuff. I'd like to give you a quick demonstration on how this all works. The Triumphant King Warboss of Tamdini. As you can see, some pretty impressive deck names can be generated. See Benedictus, the Rainforest Tailor. Also a little off the wall, it's the fun part Titan where you Flayer, get the... the Farmer of Racism. That's a little odd. Oniferous Solomon, oh. the Baby Kicker. Okay, well I think you Smither get Fan Burjoni, the gist of... Scourge of the Anemic. Sir Bremley Copper yeah, Saber, the Diabetic. It's, uh, it's Dick. Uh, that thing you were a little worried about that I told you wouldn't be a problem? Phineas at the Gaslighting Sanctum. If you're just tuning in, folks, Daniel Robinson is doing quite poorly in Kokoro Avenue the Kodama. He's playing a solo mode game on his lunch break alone. As you can see, he's already scored two zero points in previous rounds, which are going to net him negative five points each. Uh, looks like he's already pulled two yellow cards. He needs a fourth one to end the round and end the game. His final route here is supposed to connect him to the C Temple. Oh, he's just poured, pulled a third yellow card there. Uh, it's really unfortunate. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of playtime here. This is going to be a personal worst uh, if he continues this tra track. Uh, it's uh, looking pretty good uh, as far as connecting paths, but unfortunately he needs to get all the way up to that C Temple. I'm not really sure what he's, uh, what he's getting at and why he's not starting there. He's really playing the long con here, really hoping to score the impossible and I'll be honest I, I'm impressed he's made it this far another six this is unprecedented to see this kind of this kind of advancement he's pulled a four he's coming around the corner here I can't believe what I'm seeing we've not seen anything like this happen in, in the history of Kokoro Avenue of the Kodama if he just pulls another five this is unbelievable folks all he needs is one simple card to, he did it he did it this is it folks this is history forget Napoleon forget George Washington Daniel Robinson has made history today We got him. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to have to call you back. The Hong Kong Killer. Somebody got the mayor on the line? Kowalski, keep talking. We still got to run the fibers, but the remnants seen on this coat hanger is found at the scene. Uh, we're about 90% certain that we're going to get the match of the Kirkland signature jacket he was wearing on here. And then there's this. 
What is that? Murder weapon. Okay, okay, okay. This is big. This is big. Um. Stay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Kowalski, you mind telling me where you got your information from? The same place we get all of our good information. From my gut. Well, unfortunately, that was forensics on the line, and our our victim was not killed with a drill, but with a hockey stick. Now, now Chief, that don't... that don't make sense. Kowalski, this can't keep happening. I, I need your badge. I don't like doing this. There's too few of us out there doing good. Chief, we got him. We got our guy. To the ghost of Gilbert Smith, tell me what you were murdered with. Two chickens playing checkers on a cloud made of paintbrushes and a rainbow. This is how to prepare a board game. Now I just received in the mail a brand new copy of the hit game Azul. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the proper utensil for opening up the board game. Don't be afraid to give it a little saw if it is really not budging much. You're going to want to open this up immediately, almost as soon as you get it from the store. So just go ahead and take all the components, get them as easily accessible as you can. Um, so that when you play the game, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about any of this setup. Go ahead and pop the lid back on there. Pop it in so that it can sit with its friends. Now, of course, 90% of the time, you're gonna open up these boxes, get all the components open, put it on the shelf, and, and here's the real key. You want to let it marinate on the shelf for at least eight to nine months. After which point, put it up on the secondary market for about half what you paid for it, and then repeat the process. There we are, and oh no, I'm out of time. This will have to do. Oh, th thanks, Grandma. It's... I love it. Oh, Daniel, you whooped us at Ink and Gold. How did you get so good at Press Your Luck games? Come on in, shoes off, gloves on. Let's... You know, make sure we don't smudge the card sleeves. You know, read the room a little bit. Let's, uh, come on. Yeah, hey, Brett, I don't know who invited you to this, but I told you you're not welcome to my house anymore, so take your gummy bear grubby little hands and get out of my home. That invitation specifically said not to bring anything. Okay, if anybody's thirsty, we've got water and wine here. I think... Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, hey, Brett, I told you to get out of my house. Okay, yeah, this isn't even funny, guys. I'm not going to around. No, are you kidding? No, are you that? Because no, no cups on the table. Look, if you think I'm being unreasonable, yes, we can find a middle ground. Find another ground, okay? Maybe let's just read the room. Read the room a little bit. Yeah, hey, Brett. Read the room a little bit. Nobody wants you here. Can you just leave? Are you guys are not going to find a middle ground. We can eat my house, there's going to be certain rules. Alright, thanks for coming over, guys. We'll see you next week.